Question number one here is a 3 kg eagle is flying from right to left at 12 meter per second. The eagle collides with and sticks to a 1.2 kg drone moving straight down with a speed of 7.5 meter per second. So something it's involving the systems here. So one is the eagle and the drone and they are moving their respective direction and they are colliding. So next what the question they are asking us, what is the magnitude of the momentum eagle drone system immediately after collision? So they are asking us what is the magnitude of the momentum? So what momentum is, let me take an example. If I say this is a ball which has certain mass called M, if this ball moves with the certain velocity, let's take in any direction, I'm just writing for the demonstration purpose. If this ball moves with the certain velocity called V, then what is the momentum of this ball? Momentum we usually use with the notation P. So momentum of the ball, it's I can write it as mass times its velocity. So momentum is the product of mass of object times its velocity. The same thing we have to make use here. But this uh, system which is represented here is uh, like, you know, one is talking about the horizontal momentum and one is talking about the vertical momentum. So eagle is moving horizontally with the velocity of 12 meter per second and the mass of eagle is 3 kg. So what is the momentum of the eagle here? I can say this is the horizontal momentum what it can have. So what is the momentum? I can write it as mo momentum of the eagle. I'm just writing a moment of the eagle here can be written as its mass times the velocity. That is the mass of the eagle is 3 kg and its velocity is 12 meter per second. So what it's going to get here? 3 times 12, it's going to be 36 kg meter per second. That's the momentum of eagle. So in the same way, calculate the momentum of a drone, which is moving vertically down. So momentum of a drone, I can write it here as momentum of a drone can be written as again mass times its velocity. Mass is 1.2 kg and its velocity is 7.5 meter per second. So 1.2 times 7.5, that gives you 9 kg meter per second, right? So, but the question here is, after the collision, they're gonna stick together. And what is the momentum of Eagle drone system immediately after collision? So look at here, what happens as the drone is moving in this direction and Eagle is going in this direction, after the collision, what would be their direction? after collision so eagle drone system means they combine together so eagle drone system that it won't be going straight you know downward that is horizontally it won't be going straight like you know uh, sorry straight downward vertically it won't be going horizontally so then definitely when they combine so definitely they will be going in this direction as uh, definitely they will go in this direction so why this is the resultant of the two vectors when we are talking how do you find the resultant of the vector one vector I can represent something like this, which is going in this direction. Another vector is going in this direction. It's resultant, it's gonna be the this. So this involves the vector concept here, right? And I know that what is the uh, vertical momentum? I know nine kg meter per second. And what is the horizontal momentum? I know that 36 kg meter per second. So whatever the horizontal movement I'm representing here, this can also be represented here because it's a vector. And when you do the translation with the vector, their magnitude remains same. So I can do, so the same value I can write it here with the, uh, which part which I've written here, this is. I can say this is gonna be 36 kg meter per second. And this is the nine which I have already taken. Now what you can do? finding the magnitude of the moment means they are asking us find the this one this is the magnitude of the momentum of the resulting system so now you can look at here it's a right angle triangle now isn't it it's a right angle triangle so to find the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle that's basically the magnitude of the system we have to use the pythagorean so we have to calculate the momentum let me just say momentum of the eagle drone system that's what we have to calculate use the pythagorean theorem so what the pythagorean theorem says in a right angle triangle the square of the 
uh, longest side is equals to sum of the squares of two other sides. So I can simply write it in this way. I can say momentum of Eagle drone systems square is equals to square of the uh, sum of the square of two other sides. So that can be written as uh, 36 square plus nine square, isn't it? I'm just writing directly their values. So what it's gonna give us. So this can be written as P uh, E D square, just a notation it is. P E D square is equals to 36 square. What is the value of 36 square we're gonna get? 1296, it's a calculator. So no need to worry how I'm getting it. I'm just calculated the values 1296 plus 9 square is going to be 81. So I need a value of PD. So what I need to do, you can add them and take the square root of them. The square root of, so when I'm talking about, so as good as rather than saying much complicated, I can say put the square root of this one. To get rid of the square, we have to put the square root on other side. So what is the result I'm going to get? Square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 plus 81. That gives you square root of approximately 37.10. And that is going to be kg meter per second. As we are looking for the magnitude of the momentum of the system which collides. So that's approximately 36.10 kg meter per second. So that's the answer. So which option is saying that same answer here? If you can look at here. 37 point, uh, 37 kg meter per second, that's the option A. So the right answer to question number one, it's gonna be A.